Welcome to Counterpunch. Today's topic, does BP deserve an apology? Well, that sort of depends on what they're being apologized to for, now doesn't it? Keep in mind, one can be guilty of a crime and still become a victim of overzealous or overly political law enforcement. Should BP receive an apology for shouldering the blame on the oil leak? No, not at all. Their rig? Their responsibility. How about an apology for taking $20 billion from them, at least with the understanding that they can still be sued by anyone who wants to? Yeah, that qualifies. The fund doesn't satisfy any legal obligations the company experiences. All it does is give the government money to hand out to whomever they wish. Like the strippers, who want money because of lost business from their mostly fishermen clientele. How about an apology from the government for not acknowledging their own role in the problem? Again, it sounds reasonable. We discovered recently that the government produced a document that vastly underestimated the dangers of a deep water oil leak and required the oil companies to comply with the report when developing their response plans. Doesn't the government deserve some blame for forcing oil companies to underprepare? Yeah, they do. So they should apologize to BP for doing that. Now, BP has and deserves to have primary responsibility and liability for the spill. But government is denying their own role in taking money from BP while they're still trying to get things under control. For those things, an apology would not be entirely out of order. For Politics Alabama, I am Matthew Giffens. Republicans and conservative opinion makers say BP was wronged. Wronged when President Obama insisted they place $20 billion in an escrow account for oil spill damages. They've apologized to BP. Should the rest of us apologize too? Let's try. Dear BP, we are so sorry that you've been embarrassed by photos of tar balls on Alabama's white sandy beaches and blamed for the birds, fish, and other creatures smothered by your oil. We are mortified that you're being badmouthed by seafood lovers, some of whom fear they won't enjoy another Apalachicola oyster. We are distressed to know that fishermen, restaurant workers, and others thrown out of work are not properly grateful for the additional free time. And above all, we are so very sorry that we put our beaches, oyster beds, and livelihoods in front of your oil spill. Eh, no. BP doesn't deserve an apology, but they should have to pay damages in full. The escrow account is a beginning. For Left in Alabama, I'm Sherry Walker. Produced by Politics Alabama. Online at politicsalabama.blogspot.com.